So we're getting ready to put in an air conditioner. I'm getting ready to go buy one. And I'm gonna put it right here. Right in this space, right here, hopefully. Then our unit, where will the unit be? Outside unit. Yeah. You're gonna mount it here, the outside, uh, the bracket. Yes, yeah. Okay. Yes. On this wall. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it'll drain. It'll drain there. It's uh, part of my plan to make it more comfortable in the Philippines, and it's gonna be nice. This whole big room, living room, kitchen, dining, everything will be. Uh, Everything will be nice and cool in the evening when we want to kick it on four o'clock in the afternoon. And we've got a, we had a door installed. House is a little bit of a mess. But I had a door installed here. And it's got a glass up here. It's all plexiglass, you can shut it off. So everything in this kitchen, shut everything down. And I'm going to put a three-horse air conditioner in this place. So I'm at uh, Robinson's Mall, and <clears throat> they've got an appliance store upstairs. And so I'm going to go up and check the prices on air conditioners. I need a three-ton. There's the transportation hub here in Pavia behind me. So let's go see what we got. I enter the mall through the grocery store and this lady actually i'm getting my robinson's reward card here they ask me every time i shop but i never have a card so that's what i'm doing here and i had to give my birth date and phone number so i had to mute it out so i'm always asked when i come in robinson's do you have your robinson's reward card so i stopped on the way upstairs and for 100 pesos two dollars I got my go rewards. So I've learned that they've got this second floor. You got Robinson's department store right here. And then over on the other side, they've got Robinson's appliances. And I've been there, but these malls, they confuse me. It's not just here, any mall, it doesn't matter. This is small, but I found it. That's what I'm looking for. I'm already freaking them out. This is a carrier it's right at two thousand dollars it's a four horsepower so it's a little more than i need and it's yeah 90 it's right at two thousand dollars a little less there's a hundred it's a four same but this one's too wide What's that? Ano, ano yun? Ang, ano sir? Uh, equivalent sa force horsepower is 3 tunnel. Ka capacity. Pulling capacity. Oh, capacity. So they told me, please wait for a while. And I sat down and I waited. So, it says it's going to be 30 minutes before the people even call them back. They're going to see if they even have the unit available in 30 days, see if they can get it. So I left my phone number and I went upstairs and said, I'm not going to sit there in front of their counter for 30 minutes. And uh, I, I'm hungry anyway, so I'm going to grab something to eat. And they got a food court up here. It says food court, food gallery, but there's no restaurant. So I got to head back downstairs. So I stopped at this little place called... JD Bakery, pretty famous in the Philippines. And I got a little less than a six dollar lunch. A fairly legit looking club sandwich. Not like you're gonna get at uh, Applebee's or something, but it's not that huge, but it's pretty good. And they got their, their basic <coughs> iced tea, lemony flavor, and then fancy molo, which is a, it's a, it's a good, it's good soup, good broth. So, i try it. So the sandwich was good. The soup was excellent. And soup and all Look at that up. It's a pretty good, uh, very uh, 
satisfied fall asleep. Gotta go get my car, gotta go back upstairs with my air conditioner ordered. Okay, to, to kind of finish up the video on the air conditioner part of it, um, I did have to go back upstairs. Basically, it was just waiting on them to get the paperwork for me to sign. Um, the sales process in the Philippines, even though you go in, you say, yeah, I want to buy it. That's when the waiting starts. Um, so, you know, of course, I had to go downstairs and, and wait on. I ate lunch, and that was fine. And I come back up, and I probably waited 10 minutes, 15 minutes for them to get the paperwork. And then it took probably 15 minutes to get it all signed. And then to explain the process, the delivery process, when it comes in, it's going to happen while, uh, while I'm gone. And, uh, but anyway, that's all fine. But I did end up buying the four horsepower carrier air conditioner because I've got two carriers already, uh, in the house and in two bedrooms. And that'll be a nice addition to have one in here in the living room. And I've got a little, uh, it's a one and a half horse, they call it, but it's just not big enough. It sits right here. It's a, it's a portable model, you know, um, and it helps. Uh, we usually turn it on in the evening, maybe five, six o'clock, something like that. And it, it helps, you know, to cut the humidity out of the air, if nothing else. But that four horsepower, I'll just... It ought to blast this place. You know, if we if we want it nice and cool, uh, we can have it that way. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna include just a little bit of, of our project downstairs, what we're doing. Um, we got into this whole I wanted a roof cover over the porch that we have in front of the house and behind the gated area. And again they, they raised the street level about four inches, so we kinda had to beef up our porch a little bit put down some tiles and then, you know, I wanted to put a roof over the top. So we did that. We got the roof tiles put in and they had to put in a sub ceiling, had to build out the, um, they call it parling or something like that. The infrastructure to bring down the, uh, put, put the, what do they call it? Hardy plex board. It's just a board that goes on the ceiling bring the electric down so the lights will still show it. They won't be up in the ceiling where you can't see them. Uh, and then pour some concrete in front of the, uh, in front of the gates and the wall to level it up with the level of the street. So I'm going to put that in there and then I have another little video after that. Okay. This is a little trip down the stairs. Um, I'm going to show you the porch area that's it's kind of still in process there's a little bit of grouting that needs to be done uh, a little bit of finish work on the ceiling itself I'm trying to get my excuse me my helper to let me out he's sitting down in front of the door uh, he's he's the brains of the operation believe it or not he's he's a pretty good pretty skilled guy you can see the tile uh, I'm gonna go out and see what it looks like from the front you can see the mixed concrete on the left there and leveled it up to the street and you've got septic ac uh, septic tank access and then uh what we call the the waste or the gray water access whatever you want to call it and then they level the concrete up over here all the uh water from the roof is directly see the orange pipe that goes directly down into the wastewater system and goes on out to the river it's just like water from the roof and washing machine but there's our tile that they put down they did a good job and then uh, there's the ceiling, and it's all going to be finished out. Beautiful white finish. You see those, uh, there's your tiles, little step we had put in, a little contrast, little traction strip put on there. And it's a little bit of a mess, but I went ahead and videoed it. See the bar right there? That's uh, to give them a place. If it's raining, they can hang some clothes to dry because they don't have dryers here in the Philippines. So that's kind of what that is. This is just a little top-down video. Shows what the top of the front porch looks like. Supposed to somewhat resemble bamboo in, in the shape anyway. And it's a, it's a strongly corrugated sheet metal product. So I wanted to show that to you. It matches the house a little bit.